Bam! Mr. Teru, in this video we're going to take a break from doing math and do a little upcycling project in our, during our COVID-19 lockdown. We're going to take some wood that my wife and I found, actually my wife, we like to do upcycling projects and, you know, take what was going to the trash pile and make it into something cool. For this project you're going to need a drill, a jigsaw, some screws of length appropriate for the wood that you found to upcycle. This is particularly uh, what we use is, was some coarse thread one and a quarter inch uh, screws. A hammer, if you uh, happen to find a pallet that you're going to disassemble and use that wood for. Uh, we have a crowbar um, and some chalk and of course because this is um, you know Prof Rob Bob channel we're going to use an old school uh, chalkboard compass to help us uh, create our pattern. You're also going to want some sandpaper that uh, to sand these boards lightly by hand or hopefully a sander to help speed up the process. Now the wood that my wife found was some 70 inch, let me double check that, yes, 72 inch uh, wood picket fence pieces, which I already have some chalk on because, well, the sound quality of my first attempt at this video was terrible. <laughs> but we have some 72 inch by three and a half inch pickets that are three quarter inch thick. So this is a really good fence. Uh, it just, you know, I guess it was starting to rot in some places and somebody disassembled it and just, you know, basically set this out by the garbage can in an alley near our house. Uh, you can find upcycled wood anywhere. You can look uh, at your small businesses and uh, ask them if they're giving away some one-time use pallets that they just can't, you know, get rid of. Your big stores like your Walmarts and your Targets and your Home Depots, they all, all those corporations reuse those pallets, but a lot of small companies get these, um, you know, tiles, uh, cabinetry, you know, whatever, carpet on pallets that come in and they only use them one time and then they just have a hard time getting rid of all that wood. It's a great source from, for some um, project wood. Okay, so you can find pots or pans or anything that's round. Um, I got this really cool compass uh, that, I've, that uh, you know, I've got from teaching and this is five boards wide. This uh, bunny rabbit we're going to make for Easter, kind of brighten up the yard. Um, bring in some joy uh, during this lockdown, is going to be about 54 inches to the top of its head, 54, 52, you know, whatever is appropriate for uh, what's going on um, with your project. And I'm going to open this up and make a circle that is going to touch each of the outside boards so that there's a little bit of structure there with its uh, head, or you can make it smaller, whatever you like. And we're just going to make a circle as, oops, as such. I dropped my compass. And this is just um, sort of a plan, a layout of your body of the Easter Bunny. We're going to come down here, open this up to almost, if not the full width of the five boards, make another circle or whatever markings you would like to do. This is just a piece of artwork. It is yours to make as you choose. But then when you get done with that, you kind of just want to have that bunny's body make a smooth arc from bottom through the main body up to where the neck is going to be and actually while I drew circles to kind of guide me where the shape of the body of this bunny is going to be I actually made the um, head of the bunny oval so I kind of came up here at the 52 54 inch mark and kind of just extended that that oval making a general uh, what seems like is going to be a good shape you know for this bunny that we're making the tops of these pickets, because these boards are so long, ended up being the ears of the bunny. And what you want to do once you get your pattern done is to then take these boards, flip them over in sequence, don't change the pattern, and then kind of lay out and you're going to put some cross-sectional supports um, through the back of these um, boards to hold them together. And there's also, if they're a little bit bowed, you can put a board across the back here and here and here and then maybe as you work your way up start to have your uh, friend or mate, uh, spouse, uh, squeeze these together to kind of close up those gaps and then you can put some screws in the back. That's where we use those one and a quarter inch coarse thread screws to kind of bind all these boards together and then take your jigsaw and start to cut this out. You're not going to get both sides of this to be perfectly symmetric. Maybe, maybe you will, maybe you're better than I am, but what I did was I did the best I could with my drawing and then I got one side of the bunny um, cut out and then I took those boards and transposed them over to the other side and used them as a pattern 
to help get um, a symmetrical shape to the body of this Easter Bunny. And here is the final product. We've got our bunny with its ear. It's almost six feet tall. You saw from the back how we constructed it just using those screws to bind these boards together and give some support. Also gave us something to uh, screw the stakes into. We have eyes that are made out of uh, uh, some bling that was on my wife's sandals that had fallen apart. Uh, it could be buttons, it could be anything that was round that catches your eye or whatever your creativity comes up with. We have a little triangular wood nose some uh, copper wire and probably some looks like some discarded pieces of old wire hangers to act as its whiskers got a little bow we got some arms which are optional uh, we added these this is this was a part of a headboard that had posts we cut the post off and cut them in half with the circular saw clamped it to the table and that was either a circular saw or jigsaw I forget how I cut those in half it was already in my uh, my wood pile we've got the top of four of these pickets to give us a little Easter basket with some orange carrots, just some triangular pieces of wood, some raffia staple to the top, got a little bit of uh, Easter grass, and we did uh, a little foot pattern here to give this some bunnies some feet. So we turned some wood that was going into the landfill into something to brighten up our yard and kind of everyone's hopefully uh, day. Here's another little bonus project we did. We took some boards off of a pallet that we disassembled, um, oriented them perpendicular to each other so we had a smooth uh, back and front and just nailed those uh, boards together and uh, create an Easter egg. Get some colorful, uh, you know, paint out, add some letters, whether you can do it by hand or with a stencil. My wife uh, stapled on some silk flowers and one more decoration in the front uh, created with upcycled wood and a little bit of creativity. So, I'm Mr. True. Bam! Go do that project.